All right, today we are going to use some BPMs to uh, default some values when creating a new part. Um, so we want to uh, default the per container value. We're actually gonna, we're gonna default the back flush and then we're gonna go in and default our primary bin. I'm gonna use a couple different things to do that. First, let's start with the easy one, which is the per container. So if I, Get a new part number, we can see our per container is at zero. Let's make that come in as a one. Um, we'll go to method directive maintenance. And I'm actually gonna just search by my group. So the method code that we're gonna use is a get a new part. And we're gonna do a post process on get a new part. So we're gonna say, we're gonna set the defaults. So most of the business objects have a get a new method and a great place to set defaults is on the post process of that. Um, so a great thing about this is I don't actually need any conditions in here because this is only going to be called when we make a new part. So we're gonna set the specified field. Uh, there's our parts per container of the added row to one. Uh, we can save that and enable that. Now, if we come back to our part and we get a new one, we have parts per container defaulted to all right, so we got that one. Um, so if we tried to set our, some of our site values on there, we would run into some problems and we can actually see what that looks like. We get some hints about it from the screen. Um, so if we make a new part if, and if we go to our site and our list, we actually see that we don't have a record yet. Um, same thing with our warehouses. We don't have any of these records yet. Uh, so there's nothing to default at this point. Um, so we're gonna need, to, those actually don't show up. Those don't actually show up until we save. And then once we save, now we start to have records. Um, so we're going to need to use a data directive to hit those. All right, so let's find our data directives. So first one we're gonna look at is on a part plant. And we'll want it in transaction because we want to catch this as the record's being created. So this would be some this would be one of these tables that I would say is a fairly safe table to do a data directive on um, some high transaction tables. You don't, you want to be very careful about doing data directives. It's a kind of a brute force method. So we're going to set our default. So now since we're on the table, we do need a condition, right? right away and we're just going to check to see if it's new so to check to see if it's new we're going to check down here and uh, there's at least one added row in the specified table so if it's new we are going to set a field back flush. And we're going to set the specified field. There's our back flush of the added row to true. All right, that should do that. Let's enable this and save it. All right, let's see what happens now. So if we make our new part. 
part. We defaulted our parts per container. I'm going to give it a description so I can save. Now when I save and I go to our site, we can see that back flush is filled in. All right, so we got that piece done. Now for the interesting one, uh, primary bin. Um, so primary bin is saved on maybe the most unintuitive spot. It is actually on the plant warehouse uh, table. So we're going to do another new in transaction directive. So this one, when we are defaulting this, we need to be a little bit more, we need to be a little bit more careful. Um, Cause we need a couple conditions on here because I'm coming in here and I'm setting a default bin. Well, this bin needs to be valid for whatever warehouse I'm going to. Um, So uh, first thing we're going to check is let's just check to see that we've got a new record. Uh, at least one added row. OK, now we're only going to default this uh, if we are in a certain plant. Uh, let's see, so. only default it in we're gonna only default it in MFG sys and we're only going to default it for a certain warehouse um, if I had multiple warehouses that I wanted to do this in I could make some other conditions and set some other fields but right now we're just worried about the default one uh, and our warehouse code of the add field is equal to okay so we're looking for an added record and our added row is our plant is MFG sys and our warehouse is uh, Chicago or Maine default our bin. There's our primary bin. Oops. Default it to the first bin. All right, so now let's take a new part. We've got our parts per container. If I hit save, let's see. We still have our back flush now, warehouses, and we've got a primary bin. So interesting thing did happen here is we didn't actually fill in the description for the primary bin. But if I clear this and pull it back in, you can see that it does pull the description correctly. So our primary bin is set correctly. All right, that will do it.